You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. Uh... And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. Shall we, ladies and gentlemen? I was going to say I know all the lyrics to this song. Congratulations. Oh, you, you know what else, guys? England's awesome. awesome. England's awesome. live from Manchester, England, 208 miles north or 332.8 kilometers northwest oh. of London, England. Oh, yes, oh. England, ladies and gentlemen, the land of one of the strongest economies in the world, main exports including manufactured goods, chemicals, and foodstuffs. Somebody I, does his research. Today. I did. I don't know what food they, We have a lot of listeners, viewers in England, and I love them. I don't know what foodstuffs is, but it looked great on the interwebs, Fish and so I ships. said it. Fish and chips. I'm assuming. Yeah. Right? They export fish and chips like no other. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. To my left, as always, we have, with the squadrons back, we oh, have the boy. the beautiful, the intelligent, the uh, bright uh, orchard-colored. Orchard? I don't know. Oh, I, when I think of orchard, I think of this color. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Don't go take with it. it. Kathy Kelly, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Across from me, you know him as the champ. Feed him more victories. None other than Showtime Josh Padgett. I'm glad to be back. You're wearing a cutoff shirt. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm wearing my back shirt tonight because... Why? You don't really have a good reason. <laughs> he got that married shirt. tonight. I'm what? upset. I'm upset about what was I said about him. I he got married. I'm like, what did I miss? I no, he was supposed to get married or at least have a uh, partnership. Yeah, with Paul Heyman. Which uh, apparently that and, got, and, and, that got and, and, Shout out to um, you know Ryback is someone who I, I have a great love for. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then, and, then he, and then he starts to get stale on me. I'm like, oh, and then he does something brilliant, like the bully back thing. Yeah. But then. He got a little stale, started getting beat by CM Punk left and right all the oh, time. Yep. But uh, really quick, SmackDown, Friday night, if y'all missed it, you can't find it on the internet now because they only put the ending of the match. But he did something that just made me go crazy. He had Cena down, and then he looks up and goes, Powerbomb! Oh, yeah. And then he yeah. goes and picks up <laughs> Cena and, to get him into a powerbomb. I'm like, this is awesome. It's awesome, out. I but you're, you're, you're kind of giving it away. Oh well, yeah, I guess Cena it didn't work, but I guess sure. like maybe a Kofi or it could work. I mean, it's like calling your shot in baseball. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like Babe Ruth. Oh, Look, if you're it, wrestling Barry Horowitz, you can call out power bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I love but, it though. I love that. I was like, yes. Uh. <laughs> if you're wrestling the guy that comes back from death in three weeks, you don't want to get bad, yo, power bad timing. Bomb. Bad timing to yeah. debut it, but uh, I love it. I'm gonna start announcing everything that I do. Drink you should. water. Drink. Water. Yeah. That is at the Walking Dale. Dale Rutledge, everybody. <laughs> Choking on oh, Wow. wow. <laughs> Choking. Coughing. It's fine. You're sporting the Wyatt family t shirt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. We, we can get into that a little bit later. But, uh, Dude, I'll tell you what. That is a solid green hue. Greenish oh, yeah. hue in your in your dome piece right there. I, right? I didn't even dye it this color. I just haven't washed it in a while. Good for you. Chlorine. Yeah, yeah. Bam! chlorine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the show. We have a lot of listeners, viewers in England, and so we want to do something special for you. So we just, uh, we're, we're going to have just fun references all show. At least give it a shot. And bad accents. I'm yeah. pretty sure those are going to pop really up. Really bad accents. I'm trying to avoid it. I'm going to drink my water God. with my pinky oh. out. Damn it, we already have it. All Noticeably right. absent from tonight, Wade Barrett. Can oh. yeah. for a second? Because he's not ready yet. They're not ready I to think they're, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, they're repackaging him, so that's the only reason I can think you would keep him off You should have had him repackaged by now. Someone tweeted me that he did a dark match earlier in the night, mm. but... Yeah, let's kill our crowd <sighs> before we start the show, you know? Yeah. We have, like, their favorite guy. Get them amped, and then... Not, even, an, not even an appearance from Regal, even. I know. That is weird. Yeah. He's probably in Orlando, that's why. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're not going to yeah. send NXT yeah, yeah, yeah. to Orlando. Keeping everybody straight or, down there. 
Uh, England. Anyways, uh, so we start off Raw with an announcement that the Authority, that's the new name for Stephanie and Triple H, the Authority is on vacation. They didn't say where. I don't know. Maybe it was a cruise. Maybe it was a Sandals resort. Ooh, they give cruise. solid discounts. Or maybe they're in England touring around the Tower of London or the Eye. Hello. Yeah, hello. Welcome to the or Eye. maybe they're in Tampa. Or maybe they're, just, <laughs> maybe they're in Tampa getting sloshed at a pub. Who knows? <laughs> we don't know, but the Authority is on vacation tonight. So Randy Orton makes a grand entrance, says he's going to win at Survivor series doesn't really say anything too crazy just says look i'm going to win i'm the champion i'm going to stay the champion to which brad maddox interrupts and he gets himself a little bit of a pop everybody a lot of it of a yeah pop. who would have called that it. one and he's like hello they thank you <laughs> he, he he did did it like, yes mm-hmm. yeah. very good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he did come <laughs> out almost like a little it? bit of like uh like a, a pageant queen like yeah mm. that's me, <laughs> yeah. me a pageant thank queen? you very much Almost. A pageant queen? Like, like maybe exactly. one, of, one, of, one of these. <laughs> Heard that plenty? Wait, it's, don't need that. <laughs> did, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Did you do pageants? What? Did you do pageants? I did one pageant, actually. When? Oh. Pageant. Pageant. She said pageant. Ah, uh, pageant. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't do a pageant. A pageant I did no pageant. <laughs> she did a pageant. <laughs> Zero pageants. I did one pageant. Okay. Um, I did on the Sideway USA. When was that? Um, Three years ago when I lived there. Two years ago. And how'd it go? Oh, well, well. This is when you were uh, you were also a news anchor at, at the time. Yeah. And you ran for Miss Iowa. That must have been fun for the station. Yeah. Oh wow. It was, Where, cool. was like the creepy sports guy hitting on you nonstop. No, I didn't. Weather guy. Weather guy. With Weather any guy. of them, but uh, <laughs> it was. I had a lot of support from friends there, so it was, good. It was cool. And then my uh, one of my best friends there ended up going on a win, and then she won Miss Congeniality at Miss USA. So. Well, what the heck? You know what? You nice helped her get there. Miss first. Congeniality. They do. I, I, well, I don't even know. Okay, let's not. I don't. Can, Miss Congeniality. We're is that? already off topic. <laughs> All right, anyways. Back to Raw. Brad Maddox interrupts to that huge Mr. Congeniality pop that he deserves. <laughs> And next thing you know, before he even really makes much of an announcement, Corporate Kane comes out to the nice, loud chance of you sold out. He's the director of operations, the DOO, if you will. Now, who holds superiority when the when the COO is gone? Well, they clearly couldn't figure it that out. That is the question. That is the question. You would think that it would be the GM, the GM? of Raw. <laughs> That's his normal job, that right? That just seems way too far-fetched for tonight. Taking really. advantage of Brad Maddox's inexperience. But, I mean, you know, Kane was trying to pull rank, I guess. And, yeah. you know, he can call the shots, too. The only person who didn't have uh, any call was Vicky. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, but it's like, Kane staring down at you. Okay, I got yeah, it. Like, Vicky, it's like, get out of here, woman. Men are talking. Is she, is she's, even though she's a GM of SmackDown, yeah. but yeah. Has nothing I to do with it. I love the energy from the crowd all night oh, long. Like, man. you sold out chance when Kane came out were <laughs> ridiculous. Man, was was so drunk. I loved it. Because they're so, everywhere. they're out there to have a good time. It's not like, you know, I think we get spoiled at a America, you know, the Raw is constantly America in America, but they go to England, man. It's like, oh, this is our chance. I mean, I know it costs money, but like, I think they should at least do like a whole month of Raws and SmackDowns overseas. It costs like in Europe. so much money for them. But did you see they were sold out in that arena? That arena is huge. Yeah, well, I mean, 15,000 or something like that. It was a pretty, pretty Plus, large crowd, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what goes on. I mean, England crowds are great. I know uh, Nigel McGuinness said when he was wrestling for TNA in England and he got to go home, he said the crowd was electric. He said it was like one of the greatest moments in his career. Just because England crowds, they appreciate mm-hmm. they appreciate the events. And yeah. I love that they they're so they have no filter in that they just call out whatever is going on, uh-huh. whether it's good, whether oh, it's bad. Yeah. And they're saying exactly what you're thinking at home, which yep. just makes it even better. It's almost like the entire crowd, like, you know, and sometimes you, you go to a game or something with like three of your best buddies and you could like just look at each other and know what you're thinking. This is eighteen thousand people that can look at each other and know what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's you true. Know. Yeah. And you have people in the crowd performing sketches for you <laughs> oh on camera. Wait, can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> he fell down like in Mike Tyson's punch out. It was Amazing. I Whoever like you that. are, you're awesome. Yeah, you two guys. Guys in the front row, <laughs> camera side. Yeah, you two, you two fraternity uh, leaders. <laughs> That's what they look like, at least. <laughs> but man, uh, yeah, I mean, just they're so fun to watch, man. I mean, just going crazy for Maddox. And then, of course, Kane comes out, the you sold out chance. Of course, Maddox and Kane get into a fight over who's in charge because the authority's on vacation. So Maddox announces Orton versus Cody Rhodes, to which Kane says, no, 
he announces Orton versus Goldust, to which Vicky Guerrero comes out. And once like you said, men are talking, she announces Orton versus Cody and Goldust in a handicap match. And that's what they go for. It was really the night of handicap matches. It was. It was a weird theme. I don't know why why this night we got so yeah. many of them, but I liked it. The only connection I can make, but it's inappropriate. I just don't understand why they would... I mean, it's a don't bit, say it! I, don't just, say I'm wondering, it! I'm wondering why. Why? Would, why? And, and even it said, like, they acknowledge, oh, there's a lot of handicap matches tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't understand it. Um, but I'm not going to say it. Well, I don't want to say is it. Is England known as the land of the handicap? No, I'm very no, confused. I, no. think, it, I don't He's know, saying man. the day like, that it is in America. He made this joke earlier. <laughs> Excuse me, Whoa. I'm sneezing. You made me sneeze, Josh. <laughs> speaking of which, he's allergic to bad humor. It turns yeah, out. apparently. But speaking of Shout which, out to all our vets in America you. today too, uh, because no. you guys serve our country and protect us, and you're awesome. Interesting know, decision yeah. though for Kane, who's with the Authority. Their champ is Randy Orton. I don't know why they would put why he would agree to having a, a handicap match. But not that he agreed champion. to it. Yeah. But how did Vicky have the authority? How did, I missed that. Like, how did she say, like, oh, y'all two, shut up. This is what's going to happen. It was just weird planning. I feel like they, they were like, hey, we'll have this, we'll have this, and then we'll end on this. But they not didn't. Not completely thought through. And yeah, what they was the reasoning behind it? Like, if you want to protect your champion, why would you put him up against Cody and Goldust other than saying, oh, we want to, he's going to prove how great he really is. Yeah. But I don't even think they really said that. It's interesting, though. This uh, handicap match, the booking of it compared to later, like, I mean, we can get into this more later, I guess, but Cena came off like a beast in his handicap match. Sure did. Uh, Orton did not have that same effect in this particular match. It, it wasn't the... I mean, there was a lot more back and forth, and it, I, don't, I don't know. Especially it's, the way it ended. Yeah, just completely different booking. And those, Yeah, those are the tag champs, you know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. They've been on fire lately, you know, so it's it's tough. It, looked, tough it made them Orton. look really weak. Which ones? Who, Orton? No, I felt like it made the Rhodes brothers look kind of... Man, Orton, uh, he hightailed it out of there, though. Yeah. yeah, he did. I mean, it was it was a nice back was, and forth. It was just you know. weird, I think. I think yeah. it, it was like a, a very high energy start, and then like the match itself was very broken too. So it, it kind of. Felt you know what though? Part of the thing is, you know, the crowds are so unpredictable in England. You don't know what they're going to say. Almost like when you do a lot of handicap matches, <clears throat> you can kind of get a. You're not going to risk as much of a crowd messing things up because handicap matches are already so strange. Right. So allow the crowd to be just as strange with it. Um, whatever the ending is to a handicap match, it, nothing is really surprising. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not surprising that you know Orton ran away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like what, what are the options, really, in a handicap match? And it was a fun match. I mean, Cody with another picture-perfect moonsault. Uh, or and eventually he bolts. And then, of course, well... Big Wait, show. It's a big show. Coming down. I like Big Show in a hoodie, man. He <laughs> <laughs> looks rough, man. He just comes down like a pissed off dad. I like him with that beard, too. It makes him a little more aggressive looking. Sometimes yeah. with the bald head and bald face, he's yeah. very like. Yeah. yeah, as if seven foot four, four eighty is not aggressive. <laughs> yeah. I know, but I'm just saying it really amps him up. Yeah. I like it. I no. like it, Johnny. No, I like the beard, too. I'm not dissing anyone with facial hair, because you got a decent 5 o'clock going right now. So do you. Both, both I, The brothers over here both have don't. something going. Yeah, yeah I can't grow a beard, share. though. I like yeah. when someone's not officially in a match to have them in regular clothes, not in their gear. Yeah. It makes more sense. Yeah. Was he in his gear, though, but just under a hoodie? No, nah, he was wearing he had, his pop he jeans. jeans. He had oh, jeans. Yeah. He had those hey, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to, I'm going to be in the pub in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got, he, I, I did not expect this. He <laughs> That's what this show did. He did not fit in that car very well. That, oh, that was great. <laughs> That, that was almost like a Keystone uh, Cops thing. Like, how many how many clowns can fit in this car? Just one. Just that one. Man. I loved it, though. He came down to the ring and went after Orton like he was in a hurry to get to a pub. Like, he just went down <laughs> with a goal in mind, just destroys Orton, takes the monitors out. We're like, is this going to happen this early in the show? Yeah. Yeah. Choke slam. Show enough. Through the announcer's table. Had some, some airtime on that thing, too. I mean, God. have we ever seen someone go through an announcer's table this early in the show where then they just have to uh, do the rest of the commentary from you know what? The if, rubble? If there's any yeah, crowd that deserves like, to have that happen, it's in England. You deserve yeah. some awesome stuff to happen. That's true. You know, think about how many crowds we've heard in America throughout this year. Like, remember the Pittsburgh crowd a few months ago? Just awful the whole way through. <laughs> You know, England deserves to have nine announcers' tables get destroyed. 
Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. And that thing exploded. I mean, I mean, we've seen the we've seen difficulties like with punk and stuff of, of breaking that table. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And this table said, "Oh my God, it blew up. Trouble. We're in England <laughs> now." Boom. It was perfect. He pulled the stairs over, got it all ready. He was. He was heavy stairs. He picked down. up the whole set. <laughs> you know, last what was it last week? Reigns picked up the bottom side uh -huh. to beat up yeah. Big Show. And I was like, "Ooh, Reigns, dang!" He's like, "No, nah, I'm gonna get the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Ooh. Got it. Put Neat. the stairs up there. Choke slam. Bam. Business. And then next thing you know, he uh, there's there's a nice taxi man. I don't know what mm -hmm. they're called in England. Taxis. Cabbies. I guess. Cabbies. Oh, cabbies. Cabbies. There's a cabbie taxi man just waiting in one, in one of those rides on the right hand side. Uh huh. I wonder what the Brits feel about like us them using like all these like stereotypical. Like English the like props, phone book. the red yeah. phone I mean, they book. Do. Well, they are there though. Hello, they are Mary Poppins. But bip, 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 you know they got like chimney well, I did, sweeps. I did not stuff. hear that when I was in England. There's very few of them left though. I mean, everyone it's has like a cell phone still. So here, yeah, they don't have that many on the street yeah. anymore. I know, but the equivalent but would be like it's a bunch of bald eagles hanging around. It's like, oh, we're in America. <laughs> I was told Americans, you Yankees, you know. Here's the thing with taxis in England. I was told that if you get a a black taxi cab, those are like the best kind to get. So that's not like that stereotypical. That's like the one you want to have is the one that. Big show That's a normal oh, the cab, cab. The cab yeah. is fine. I'm, I'm yeah, fine yeah. with the cab. It's a They're not using like, like Priuses and stuff over there? They do use some, but I think that it's mostly. Yeah. I've seen a few. I was there in like February. I mean, Toyota, a Prius would be shipped in from America. Do you understand? Well, or, technically. Not from, America, from uh, Japan. It's like. Japan. I mean. Yeah. You know. But it's a Toyota, right? Yeah. Don't they? They mostly have Mercedes over there. I mean, they probably, yeah, they the stuff. yeah. Welcome to Exports Weekly, everyone. I'm your Sorry, host, Johnny Vaquasto. Next to me is Kathy Keller trying <laughs> to figure out where the hell Toyota's from. About, uh, <laughs> I, I'd hate to see Big Show fold into a Prius. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Taxi. It'll it bend over car. seven times. You got a moonroof in this thing? Here goes his head. We have to open up the, the <laughs> thing. would flip over. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure ready to have that pint. <laughs> Need to get to a bar. Yeah. <laughs> that was great watching him get. Like, it was, he almost knew that it was hilarious getting into that car. Like, you would just see. I believe they do have some sort of hybrids over there. Yeah, though. they got to, right? Not but necessarily. It's just funny. I just see all this, like, you know, antique, like, novelty, yeah. uh, you know, props over there. And I'm just wondering how they feel about that. They probably are like, oh, yeah. Whatever. Why not? It's, it's just a thing. Yeah, let's switch all things. We, they think we're all fat and exactly. eat McDonald's and stuff. You know, our guns. in raw audiences, True. they <laughs> every raw we're audience in America raw. has, you gun. know, every audience in, for raw in America has fat people. That's our props. So yeah. it's like, you know. You know. Obama. Works. Props to fat people. <laughs> there you go, Mississippi. <laughs> so we move from a giant to a little tiny Torito. Los Matador has come out along with... Yeah, that was a segue. How about that? <laughs> if I had to sell product on this show, I'd be really good at it. You'd Not be, as good as Zack Ryder. You'd be a point our, our truth quality, at least, I yeah. would say. Yeah. At least. Los Matadores and a horny Santino Marilla. Oh, I like versus. That. Not that kind. Yeah. Horns right. <laughs> <laughs> on his head, ladies and gentlemen. So it's those three. We're thinking, okay, who are they possibly going to face? Well, we have a new tag team tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! The Union Jacks! <laughs> Man, I, I, we were all pumped to see him. We're here to rock you. And, 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 and right before, when Lost Matadors came out there, I was like, "There's no way they're gonna allow Three and B to come out. They're gonna they're gonna be booing Lost Matadors out the the door tonight yeah. because they're gonna be cheering for McIntyre so much like they did uh, in the house shows mm -hmm. um, earlier this week. So, and then for them to come out in Union Jack attire, yeah, and then change their name, and they even had uh, like some British. I, I'm not familiar with. Uh, I mean, I know McFly. <laughs> and the Kinks and the Beatles. Right, right. Yes, yes. That's a, a weird. Oh, what's three, that? Maybe, yeah. maybe it was the Sex Pistols. I don't it was, know. It was, it, was. A, it was a cool Br British band, you know. <laughs> yeah. It reminded me of. We're burying um, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good references there. What's that rock star from Viva Rock Band? <laughs> the the what? Flintstones movie. Viva rock. Oh my god. <laughs> he wore like the. I'm trying to figure out who it was, what his name was in the movie. Yeah, but you know, I know who, who you're talking, talking about? about. No. Mick Jagger. <laughs> or oh. Jagged. Mick oh. Jagged. Jagged. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the roots to dance. Yes. Yeah. Dance. Oh, man. But yeah, they come out as Union Jacks. And it's freaking awesome. And but then, great. yes. What are we doing with this match? Are the Matadors play, going heel tonight? Are, are they going to wrestle heel? I just like, think so that said over the weekend. It made no damn sense, is what happened. I don't care if it makes sense or not. I just thought it was nice for 3MB to finally have something cool happen. I, yeah. I liked it, but. What were we supposed to feel? Like, I just got so well, confused during yeah. the whole match. Like, the crowd is already not responding to Los Matadores. Well, that's the same thing in America. I, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I, so far, they're not taking to them. And so you have their opponents 
basically bury them in, in again you, by dressing the up. The only way, local. right, is have three and B win tonight. Yes. You have them. Oh. You know, plot twist, they actually win tonight, yeah. and it would be awesome. Yep. I, don't, I don't get it. I thought it was going to happen, and I couldn't have been more disappointed when Santino pulled out the Horn Cobra <laughs> and hit Gender Jack with, with the win. And then uh, El Torito, he, he, he interfered in the match. Yeah. He gored uh, one of them in the butt, gender or somebody. Uh, yeah, he did. He did that. And and actually, like, Santino rough, did. Rough. Santino uh, gored also. Well, he, in the butt. he gored him out of the ring. He did and a then, butt And gore. then El Torito was outside the ring and hit him. And I'm like, throw, yeah. throw the flag. I mean, uh, you know, ring sure. the bell. It's over. Three and B wins. <laughs> That'd be, that would have been perfect if El Torito start just getting him disqualified every match. Butt gored just can't. Yeah, can't like get they that can't out control him. Now. You know. <laughs> yeah. Butt gored. You can't ask gore someone. Can't do it. It's illegal. At, at score, isn't that where Thor is from? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I'm from all school. Yeah. I'm from all school. Have, have you seen the Charmin commercials that they pulled with, uh, it was a Charmin bear dressed as Thor. What? And it, they had something about Asgore in there. Come on, yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're like protector of Asgore or something like that. And then oh they pulled goodness. it because they thought it was too racy. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. just came up with that and then they got a commercial. Man, so anyone like listening who has not seen Thor, nor have I, so I'm with He's you. He's from Asgard. Oh, got oh, it. Asgard, that's yeah. what it was. Asgard. Yeah. Good. Which would make sense, oh, I guess. Yeah. In a, a TP is an Asgard. Yes, Good but, to know. Uh, Oscar. Not only one S, guys. But right. thank God. Uh, We're talking about Ask Gores. And Santino won. <laughs> Can we stop talking about Yeah, Ascors? Santino pulls off the win. Uh, oh, there's oh, there the Charmin. Yes! That's <laughs> Baron Thor. If you're listening, you need to uh, it change says, our iTunes page real quick. We've always been an Asgardian. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. what it says at the bottom. Oh, oh wow. Goodness. <laughs> that's great. Are they, is, it better be two ply if you're going to make a statement like that. Hi, yeah. Charmin's yeah. always two ply. Soft and Shit strong. Fantastic. You want to be an ass guardian, you better strong. bring the thickness. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> bring the thickness. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Johnny LaCosta says, bring the thickness. It yeah. <laughs> ain't bragging if you back it up, Charmin. <laughs> What is going on tonight? So, yeah, anyways, we're rising up. We, the England crowd got, just got this us pumped is up, man. Awesome. <laughs> this, this is, is awesome. awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I was really, I love seeing the Union Jacks, and I really wish they could have pulled off the W. Damn you know, it. Maybe they Damn maybe, it. Maybe next week in Nashville. The capital of music. You know what? You know they're gonna be. Maybe they're gonna come out to a different like a country. I mean, they, they're, they're gonna have to. Heath Slater. Have, yeah, they better bring the thickness. That's all I gotta say. Bring, yeah, thickness, bring that thickness. Maybe. maybe they're gonna perform. Bring How about it. that? They haven't performed in, in a long time. Yeah, it's Nashville. Grand up, grand old opera. That's oh man, I hope that's their moment. Give them something. Get it. This, Give this, them this something. could have been their moment too. They could have two two oh. weeks in a row. That would have been awesome. That would have been great. Just smash a guitar over Torito's head. Do something. Can can they wrestle somebody? Uh, they have that one pay per view match against the Real Americans, and then back to three and B again. What is going this on with this booking? Y'all stop. Cut it out. Unless you let three and B start winning. Right. Let something different happen. Anything. Uh, Otherwise, care. it becomes a folly every single week. Yeah. And I want to see Cesaro swing Torito. I mean, oh, I need to see God. that. That's the thing. Is like now, who are they? Him. Who are they going to release? Have them actually release him? Uh, bad. I'd rather see like them pair up some random guys that aren't on air right now and have them be a tag team than just have Los Matadores on every single. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, who are they going to feud with? Right who are they going to feud with? That's the hard part. Instead of Santino elevating them tonight, they drag Santino down. Like the normal Santino pop that Santino so gets. Sad, he was working yeah. his butt off. Yeah. You're right, though. They sucked yep. it right out of him. Yep. Uh, yeah, they shouldn't <laughs> have had him out there. So I don't I don't know what they're going to do with those guys, but they need do to do something. Got to do something. Yeah, and maybe they've invested uh, too much already. It ain't going to happen in Nashville because that's going to be 3MB's moment. We're calling it Let's right do it. here. Damien Sandow, the uncrowned world heavyweight champion, taking on Kofi Kingston next. You know, the crowd was kind of just out of it for this one, which um, I thought it was a fine match. Both guys are great performers. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy said that maybe Sandow was in the, in a dark match, or, or, or was he? I, I don't possibly. remember. Someone tweeted me that whoever was in the match with Wade Barrett, I think it might have been Sandow. Yeah. Could have so also... they could have they could have not been as energetic because yeah. of that. Maybe. I guess so. I mean, nonetheless, though, it was still a fun match. Yeah. They were not really into it, but Sandow hits him with the "You're welcome for the clean win." He was aggressive tonight. Yeah, well, Sandow. that's like a new side of Sandow. It's just a shame that. Right now, you have it. I was really, really hoping he would get in on the title chase with ADR and Cena, but yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, they want to just bleed that to death instead. I don't, I don't understand why <laughs> this this push could be great. So I mean, I didn't think him losing the the money in the bank would be a push. But I was, yeah, I was devastated that night, mm -hmm. and I thought, but they made it into something yes. good. It's like I'm okay with people losing money in the bank yeah. cash ins. I'm okay with they that. They shouldn't all win. They should not That's always. That's not win. what it's. I about. want it to be. Ah, is he going to actually do it or yeah. not? For sure. But you got to let him stay in that fight. I, I, Del Rio's. I feel like for the last three years, he's been uh, in the world title hunt. Yeah. Like, you know, like either he moved on to WWE, then he moved back to world, and he's right. just been there. Mm -hmm. and he's just, he's kind of like the axle of the world title. He's and always got it. Exactly. And, and it's nothing like, nothing changes. Uh, nothing changes. Gave it to Ziggler for a second, took it right back. Yeah. Yeah. We can get into it later when ADR pops up. I, we, get, we can hope, though, that perhaps Sandow will be moving in after... John Cena takes care of Alberto Del Rio. I hope so. Maybe okay. he comes in and uh, gets involved in the match or distracts somebody. I, I don't know. I love Sandell's new finisher, too. I love the, the full Nelson slam. I hate the name. What would you I call it? it? You're welcome. The well, textbook? He, they, they were calling it like the cleansing. Like, you know, I'm the, I, I, the unwashed mm. masses. I'm going to cleanse you now. Boom. That was awesome. Uh -huh. He that hit, is pretty good. He hits it with the cleansing, or you know, something like that. But now, and when he hits the "You're welcome," when the, that is it, very it, it weird. It, it's weird. Every time Michael Cole says it, I'm like, stop. I don't like it. And for someone like Sandow, who's so well spoken, you don't think he would? Exactly. And all of his moves are like the I can't even say them. They're all in Latin. And then this one's like, then "You're welcome." I'm like, yeah. ah, that one's so. <laughs> you hit him with the cleansing, then say, "You're welcome." The silencer. Yeah. I, I like the, the sil silencer silence. as well, but the cleansing, the silencer, any of those. And they have to say, "Oh, he calls that your the you're welcome." He hits, a, you he hits yeah. the, you're, you're welcome. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It ain't good English. <laughs> no, it ain't. Tank, short tank. Wait, what, what did you say? Don't worry Tanks. about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there, we've already done enough. Getting a little racy episode. here on gotta bring, Hey, those. look, if you're coming up with a finisher name, got to bring the thickness. <laughs> Bring it, <laughs> everybody. This no is more now as... an explicit, explicit <laughs> show on iTunes. Once so again, another match, <laughs> another match that we didn't quite. Oh boy, this one kind of chapped us too. Dolph Ziggler versus <laughs> Curtis Axel for the Intercontinental Championship. I thought, just like I thought this would be three MBs night. I, I think we all thought this was going to be Dolph Ziggler. Absolutely. Night. Yeah. I, I, I. What know. the f? Uh, what the f? Man, and you're like, ah, should Ziggler win the Intercontinental? I mean, that's a yeah, step he backwards. Should. I think he should have him with the Intercontinental Dude, title. He could go on something. He could go on a honky tonk man type run. I, yeah, and then challenge the world title champion. Look, I'm the Intercontinental champion. I'm the next up, and I want to face you, champion versus champion, uh -huh. and maybe even have him win, and then he can relinquish. You can have a cool tournament for the Intercontinental. Bam. Chris Axel can be in there. You know, throw him in there. Throw him in there with Kofi and <laughs> throw him in the battle royal, whatever. Yeah, what else? You know, but like Curtis Axel, he's done so much for the title since he's had it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's done a lot of them. with his two title defenses and eight he months. He must have polished it. Whatever real, it is, must have polished it real good by now. It would have been perfect. You win on Father's Day, you lose on Veterans Day. It would have been great, and it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, <You know? laughs> the title doesn't make the man. Mm -mm. Man makes it's the title. Like holiday to holiday champ. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so Ziggler, my God. Well, first of all, he already does. I mean, he, he tonight he did like everyone, all the DX's finishers except for the pedigree and super kick. Yeah. I mean, he does a super kick. He does a super kick, the famouser, and then tonight he did an X Factor off the top rope. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's and true. that wasn't enough. Yeah. And this is the problem I've always had with Ziggler. I'm always like, oh man, he makes such an underdog guy. He's like the opposite of Cesaro. Like they, they both have some, you know, such, such arsenal. They're both but, powerhouses. But they have so, so much in their arsenal, but Cesaro has so many ways of putting guys down. And Ziggler, I'm like, he's got all these specials, but they never they never can win. Yeah. He yeah. does a zigzag sometimes to people and that, that he, wins, but he, he didn't get a sleeper, tonight. the super kick, X Factor. That X Factor looked messy. Well, they got, brought up a great point where they, they mentioned the zigzag come out of nowhere, just like the RKO, which it can. He didn't get it tonight. I still thought he was going to get it and pull it off. It, it was a solid match, but Axel just. <laughs> Hits, I don't even know what the name of it is. Some neck breaker. Because he never does it. It's his, it's his finisher, the neck breaker thing. Yeah, it looks nasty. I like it. But, mm. again, he did it to Ziggler and beat him clean and he tonight. he just gets the win. Beat him clean! My, my notes for this match were... Suck it, Axel. Wow, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. I'm so tired of Axel having that title. I don't know. Was, was it just... I, the only reason I think he retained tonight is because of what we find out later, that Ryback is hitting the road from the Heyman crew. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll talk about it later. But yeah. I, I, I don't, otherwise, I don't see a reason for Axel to keep the title. I mean, I don't. I, I just don't there's nothing. He shouldn't happening. have had it this long. He should have been defending it multiple times. Yes. And it's. Yeah. I'm glad that we actually finally got to see him 
defend it again. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah sure. Yeah. They but, really, uh, oh man, they tease us with that one tonight, man. I and then we'll we'll get to the whole Heyman Ryback Axel thing because I'm interested to see if if because what Heyman said about Ryback, it's like, dude, you gotta come back to, you gotta say something. So it makes me wonder if Ryback's gonna have a response or if he's just not gonna do anything. But we'll get to that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Axel wins and uh, everyone rejoices. Mm. They're, Yay. They're clearly, they're clearly not ready for Ziggler to make another run. I don't know. I don't know why. But they're ready for Axel to bore the crap out of us right now. Good for business. I, tell me, show me. Mm. Show me the numbers. Mm. I feel like with WWE, it's not always business. It's like biz friends. Like they care more about who His dad is on was. good terms with them. Yeah. Over I mean, it, it, it could be a backstage yeah. thing for sure. I mean, you know, yeah, we I don't want to get into that because we know nothing yeah. about we that. We don't know, yeah. but I mean, I don't know. still, come on. Oh, well, anyways, we go backstage to Brad Maddox and Kane. Of course, they're arguing over matches. They're getting along like a couple of brothers who don't get along. Uh, they decide <laughs> on the Real Americans versus John Cena in a handicap match, and also the Shield versus Daniel Bryan and CM Punk in a handicap match. So there we go. More handicap matches. Going to be a lot of fun. More handicap matches. And <coughs> not to fear, we do have a Shop Zone promo with Long Island IC, Zack Ryder. Whoa, whoa, use, whoa. Yeah, you got to use that code Broski. Get yourself a nice little discount. Some fresh uh, facial hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, what do you think of that, Kathy? What do you think of the facial hair? Mm, no bueno? No. It didn't work on him. No. No, it did not. No. It it made weird. his face look a little fat. It too. did. Wide. Why? I would say yeah, wide. Just extra wide. Yeah. A little puffy. Maybe he had a lot of sodium. Thick. Because he knew he wasn't wrestling. <laughs> I don't know. Thick. Thick. <laughs> Johnny, I bet you liked it. I'm just saying. He brought the thickness I was going to let you guys keep talking about his facial hair just to see how long it could possibly go. <laughs> well, it was weird. We've never seen him have it before. So yeah, but you know, he's, he's got well, like something good, new going on. There's a good yeah. chance he got to the arena and didn't know he was going to be on TV. <laughs> so, oh, crap. <laughs> he's like, I am not prepared for this. Yeah, yeah. because he had. It on, I think he had it on SmackDown or main event one of the shows oh, this past he? week. He had the the goatee going on. Hmm. So. I mean, but he did a good job promoting. Yeah, still still not. I, my favorite was our truth. For yeah, me. you can't. He, he, he can't did. Top he that, did excellent. Think. But yeah, but Ryder did well. I mean, yeah, you know. he, yeah. Was, that's hard. That's it, hard. He, he tied the items together. He was like, "Oh well, you know, you don't see the rider figure, but you have he, this rider shirt." Found, and he, he found a way and yeah. time to add in a little jab yeah. at like why he's not on there. It's like, <laughs> well, you know, that's good. I liked it. It's gonna be hard to beat our truth, but Zack Ryder did a hell of a job tonight. Yeah. Use that code Broski. Speaking of Broski, don't we have uh, to give a shout out to someone who won the Create a Wrestler? Oh yeah, but he. He got the bragging rights, but he technically couldn't win because he is actually overseas, and we could only send it in the Darn it. But, yeah, oh. Ryan the Broski. Uh. At Ryan the Broski, Shout man. Out to making all those. You are a good dude. Ryan's awesome. He yeah. did, and he, it's funny. He tweeted me that he, um, I, I kept saying to him, like, dude, you better stop spending so much time on this. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't you tell him to read a book or something? Yeah, I'm like, you're in <laughs> school. <laughs> and he's like, I did actually drop, uh, I, I dropped my classes, but not because of the video game, because I want to do something different. I'm like, tell it to someone who believes you, because you're playing too much video games. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Jeez, but at, my video hey, games is different. At Ryan Jeez. Dabrowski, we love you, buddy. Thanks a lot for all the effort you put in. You did a great job. Um, I guess someone else will get the T-shirt, but uh, you ever come to America, Kathy will meet up with you and give you a T-shirt or something. Yeah. Klaus was just mad he didn't win any of those matches. Right I'm not pimping you out. I'm just saying that, you know, our list, our England listeners <laughs> like you the best. They don't want to see any of us three. There's a, what the hell? You're the valet all, of the group, all want to meet up with you. They all want Oh, when to I was in England, pub. yeah, when I was on their turf, they wanted to go to pubs with me. It would have been great. I wish. Awesome. I wish I could have met up with uh, with Nick, your yeah. your uh, future uh, beau. You didn't meet up with him? What happened? Uh, I just, I was only there for a couple days. You're a jerk. Dude, you were there quick. Yeah, it was a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. Super quick. No, no sleep. No sleep. No rest for the wicked. Nope. No sleep till, uh, till London. Did you get any cucumber sandwiches? Hell no. I don't want to eat cucumber sandwiches. Oh, yeah, it's bizarre. I did bizarre get fish and chips one morning, and that stuff just sits in your tummy for a while. Uh, well, it's fried on fried. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it was delicious. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Tamina versus Nikki Belly. Uh, Nikki Belly? <laughs> wow. Hey. That's Nikki not Belly. Nice. Nikki Belly. <laughs> it's a great shape. She's only mildly bigger Nikki than Nikki Belly. <laughs> Tamina, otherwise known as Sheezle, because she is as close to Diesel as a female can get. <laughs> ah. Versus Nikki. Nikki Bella, of course, Bree and AJ at ringside, and uh, this continues this feud. Tamina nails the big boot. AJ <laughs> takes care of Bree on the outside. Tamina with the superfly splash for the win. Not the smoothest one in the world, as usual. Then, of course, post match, they keep beating up on uh, on on, on Nikki.
Suzuki, then Bree comes in, she drop kicks AJ and Tamita. They retreat, and the Bella Twins just look on. Don't know what's happening here, because AJ's already beaten them a couple times. I, yeah. I mean, this is still, I think they want Bree mode to become more of a thing. I, I, I feel like that was what the end of the match yeah. was, is that she she breed up or whatever. whatever she breed up. She got into Bree mode. Um, but I like that. She got, she got B-O'd? She got B-O'd. That doesn't sound right. No. Continue, Dale. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I really liked Tamina. She was looking good in this whole match. I think mm -hmm. she's so so strong and such a beast. And AJ did her little side twirly bit. Yep, and, talking and, to the belt. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, talking to the belt, I like it. Tamina's she, just got to come out with the glove. Just just, just, just sound the horn <laughs> of the truck. <laughs> I love it. She started doing the power bomb now. I love. Yep. I, I just, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, not, not too great with. I mean. For being a snooker, not too great a splash tonight. She's, she's tall though. She I she, think, she overthrew that. Like she, I think so. She almost missed the whole yeah. thing. I'm wondering if those girls can handle a splash. Yo, tonight. she tall though. That could be it. It's not easy to do okay, a splash no. when you be tall. Right, well, put right. them in the middle of the ring because that girl's got some ups. That's true. She's tall though. Mm -hmm. she yeah, tall, I, though. I love it. I, I love those two together. They need I to keep cannot. Going. Oh, I, I'm already. I can't wait for them to feud. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. AJ and and Tamina. How long down the line do you think that'll happen? I think it's going to be a while yet. I think right now what they you have think? going on is cool. Mm -hmm. I, I think, would say once this season of Total Divas wraps, it'll. Mm -hmm. Be a lot, it'll open it up for other feuds. You think they're going to put new divas on the second season? No. No, no, no. I'm just saying that they want this feud between AJ and everyone on Total Divas oh, to uh -huh, continue uh -huh. until, until the next six episodes. So are probably over. like January or yeah, something. January, yeah, January, February, I think, is when we're going to see some changes. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So maybe survive. I mean, uh, maybe Royal Rumble. We could get. An AJ, Possibly. Because right Tamina. now, Tamina still has not said anything. So we're going to get to the point where Tamina is <laughs> actually being vocal. She's got to start abusing Tamina more in order for her to... She doesn't really have a reason to dislike her yet. Well, AJ hasn't said a... AJ really hasn't even said much the last number of weeks. It's just been That's mainly... True. They haven't really given them a lot of time. I think maybe now that Total Divas is airing, they'll do something else. Yeah. Although we're getting yeah, a lot of... They must be filming uh, something, yeah. Yeah. Because she had that awesome pipe bomb. And oh, just like, man. All right. And then the season had to end. But I mean, right. really, the, that was when the season was supposed to be over, but then it did so well, they went back and filmed yeah. some more. Mm -hmm. It was one of the top rated shows. I think it was the top new show, new show on, on E. e. Yeah, for sure. And well, then. it makes sense. I mean, you have wrestling fans are going to tune, and then you have the pop culture fans are going to be like, oh, chicks that do this? So many of my, my female friends have come up to me and been like, oh my gosh, I watch wrestling now. It started, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it started this new, like, breed, I guess, of people, not yeah. breed of people, yeah, but know, it but started this whole new uh Fan base, sure. I guess. Because they're watching the show, but it, it, at least for the people that have talked to me about it, they're not watching wrestling wrestling past yeah. the show, but they love that they know they something the about character. wrestling world now. Girls it's all about like them the ratings. Mm -hmm. Ratings, ratings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ratings, <laughs> ratings. Yeah, yeah. I said that. Ratings, <laughs> ratings. Yeah, yeah. You said ratings, ratings. <laughs> ratings. Yeah, yeah. I said ratings, <laughs> ratings. Yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't got nothing on our truth. Wow. Oh, that's for sure. You know what, Kathy? If Hold you're going to just spit that vitriol at us, we're not going to rap anymore. What'd you call her? Oh. I said vitriol. I, said vitriol. I like that vitriol. word. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strong word. It's a strong word like this go girl that I'm drinking. Uh, <laughs> I'm adding Kathy to my list here. Kathy. Yeah. Kathy sucks. She's on, the, yeah. She's on the naughty list, dude. I'm not Suck writing it, it as big. Yeah. But. You Scratch it in with that pen. <laughs> Just when he was going to use the code word broski to buy you something, not anymore, Kath. I really want a $5 cutoff t-shirt like Josh has. $5. I want to show off my arms. You got a couple, don't you? Yeah, I got a Fandango one, too. Sure you did. Yeah. Now Fandango. you just need some arms. Dale, how, how oh! <laughs> Says Dale with a tiny vest as well. <laughs> Did that even hurt in the booth? <laughs> oh, Come on, man. Man. All right, Sorry, we move on. Him. Randy Orton's still in the training room like 40 minutes later in the same position. The trainer apparently doing a very thorough examination. The shield comes in. Orton flips out. Where the hell were you guys? And this is what we liked. I know Josh Padgett, you dug it. The shield basically said, hey, hey, where we were. None of your business. Mm. We don't work for Maddox. We don't work for Kane. Mm -mm. Yes. We don't work for Vicky. Mm -mm. Yes. And then Roman Reigns goes, and oh, we damn don't sure. We damn sure don't work for Orton. Yes. You. That's right. I mean, you know, and this has been scaring the crap out of me. And I know it has to a lot of people out there in the universe, too. That the past couple weeks, these guys have been flirting with breaking up. 
Yeah. And then and then the whole authority thing, I was okay with that because for a couple months there, they were kind of drifting around. Mm-hmm. They were just having matches against Dan O'Brien and, you know, every, here and there. And I'm like, well, they don't have any direction anymore. They're not about justice. And then they're like, okay, we're the personal bodyguards of, of Triple H and the McMahons. And that's fine, but I'm like, mm, eventually they got to say, I, I was hoping that they would be like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't right. This ain't justice. Mm-hmm. And we're going, mm-hmm. we're, we're going for ourselves. And that, but tonight, and then they started like breaking up. Ambrose is talking crap, and I'm like, no, 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 no! I don't want y'all to break up. Like y'all want to be somebody's blackies? That's fine. Don't break up yet. I'm not ready. I'm <laughs> yeah. not. I'm not. <laughs> oh ready. no, they're not going anywhere. Dude. And then tonight, no, they no, went no, back to basics. Mm-hmm. We're a unit. That's right. We don't work for no one. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't say that they didn't work, work for, for the authority. H. That's true. They just listed off people that they did not we work for. Right. We don't have for allegiance sure. to you. Yeah. And it seems like, I yeah, I mean, Kane don't have his back either. No. Kane don't no. have his back. So it's like, wait, all these authority members, they're not they're not really behind Orton either. Maybe they all want Cena. <gasps> He'll turn. No. What are you, not Never going to happen. Ooh. Never, never going to happen. <laughs> no. Please. Man can dream. That's no, definitely not going to happen. Keep it. But I still that that was a really cool segment because he had Orton, uh, you know, Orton showing more of a sadistic, you know, paranoid side, if you will. Then you have the Shield just standing up to him like, whoa. And then I love when Dean Ambrose, what does he kick at the end like, uh, see you later, bro, or like good luck to, or whatever. Oh, yeah, what good is, luck to, yeah, good luck or something. Something cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was surprised to see this from these guys. I, I I thought it was it was more attitude than we've gotten to see from them lately. They have been very silent and very you know. I think it's the Twitters. most attitude we've seen from them since they were Heyman's lackeys. Mm. Yeah. Like since they were like going into like, the, cutting, the, the cutting the those like crazy promos. promos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. You need to have Ambrose up there. You know, they need to be talking again. Like, I, I, they're, mm-hmm. they're such good talkers. I and mean, all of them are really good. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think they're really re- is- It's crazy to think that they debuted a year ago and they've still got so much support behind them. Mm-hmm. And it, it doesn't seem like it's gotten too stale. And I think yeah. that that's why is that they, they go in waves and they'll let them talk and then they'll be silent for a while. Couple and then months they're, they're on and their yeah. way back up right now. Yeah. So To be that solid for an entire year, that would be like uh, three to four years in the early 90s, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which so is pretty, that's huge. pretty impressive. That's why Punk's title reign was so For big. the fans' attention span right now, that's ridiculous. Yeah, Absolutely. Right? Speaking of ridiculous, time to Fandango, everybody. Kathy. He said, fans need more hip. Yes. Their Fandango tonight. Oh, there we go. We're going to do it again. Oh, and the Brits love this. Shout out to Jim Johnson, who just knows how to make really awesome music. Yeah, the the Brits were were fandangoing like feverish, like they had to drop weight. Like they were just going crazy Mm -hmm. fandangoing. It was a lot of fandangoing. It was. And we haven't seen that in quite a while. Since well, I feel like the day that day after WrestleMania, the Raw yeah, after WrestleMania the was where they kind of birthed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah see the whole crowd like, go do it. The next week, Jerry Lawler like officially killed it. <laughs> they all they all fangoing. It's like oh, no, 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 not anymore, dude. No, Dad. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> dad, come on. <laughs> Uh, at least when they go to England, you know there's going to be plenty of fandangoing. That's that's important. Yeah, and he, was, it, he had the Union Jack tights too. It, he did. It? it was the biggest pop of the night. It was definitely mm. like Would him you, and Maddox and oh later in the show. Too. Yeah. Well, so let's, thus far, come on. We had some. We had some big moments. Yes. Big ones. But, well, the, the best part is they were fandangoing the entire match. That's the best part about <laughs> it. I love that. Yeah. yeah. They were doing the wave. Oh, and they they were trolling Randy Orton too uh, during his handicap match. I forgot to mention that oh, they were yeah. all, they started. I mean, it, it's been since the him and Sheamus match from back uh, right after WrestleMania when all the European fans started doing JBL, JBL, uh-huh. Michael Cole, and he's like, and then they're like Randy Savage, and Randy Randy Orton got pissed, mm-hmm. right? He didn't like that, and he was a face at the time, um, and I love it because then they started chanting Randy's boring. Oh boy! And then JBL went. <laughs> Listen to this capacity crowd rooting for Randy Orton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or chanting Randy Orton. It's Good so save, JBL. <laughs> yeah, what can you do in that moment? You just got to go for it. Yeah. But they were all into it, and then of course Fandango. Oh, they're, they're a bit of an interesting. Uh, they showed a clip from Total Divas, um, mm-hmm. which just looked really <laughs> staged. But whatever. Uh, Tyson Kidd is training with Eva Marie, and then uh, Natalia is 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 training with Fandango. 
Tyson Kidd gets jealous of Natalia wrestling with Fandango because he's shirtless or something, and they have like a, f a fight. And, and why then, do the two of them need to be wrestling? Why, why does Natty and, and Fandango need to be practicing? I mean, I'm just trying to kayfabe, kayfabe rules. Oh, like, sorry. Why, what well, would be the reason there? There's none. Well, there's none. It's just. I don't. Fandango's know. been in the business forever. He's been a, just as long as Randy Orton. Well, maybe they were Tyson just Kidd. practicing. Just while while just TJ was. Uh, oh, hey, TJ, I gotta do this match. You know, I gotta, yeah, like, yeah. You know. I'll, I'll help you out, Eva. I think it's and Natty's like, oh, you wanna help her out? I'm gonna, help, I'm gonna have some helping of some dangos. Tyson Kidd does come off pretty pissed, for, or, or at least all the episodes that I saw. Slow your roll, season. dude, yeah. They uh, should he not definitely. be having marital problems this early on. Yeah. They barely got married. Yeah, remember that marriage? Uh, I mean, leading into the marriage was pretty bad, too. They're not making him very likable at all, which They're sucks because the guy just came back from an injury. You yeah, want to be rooting for, for the guy. Him. Why are you showing clips of him getting mad? I, I mean, don't know. Slow your roll. Clearly, that's a reality show. Well, that's the like all reality shows. It's very loose. Sure. Term. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. course. But, of course. Yeah. I mean, for in real a, life, they're probably fine. For a guy who hasn't ever really gotten the chance to shine personality wise, I believe his character on the show. So it paints uh, him as like a doofus which who is great. Is over Let him be a heel. everything. Yeah. Let him be a heel. Could be. Yeah. Well, anyways. Well, Fandango gets the roll up for the win and leaves Tyson Kidd in the ring, just looking as upset as when Natalia dan uh, danced slash wrestled with Fandango. Uh huh. <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, this could be. I'm assuming this is going to lead to a feud, maybe a mixed tag, perhaps. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. Let's get it. It's to keep Summer Rae moving Summer and doing good stuff. Yeah, didn't her and Natty have a good match uh, a few weeks ago? Right? They had a mixed tag with Kali mm -hmm. and oh and Natty. All right, yeah. So in maybe, other words, they so had a singles we'll match. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty much what happened. Moving on, John Cena versus the Real Americans in yet another handicap match. I'll tell you what, this was great from the word go, because of course you get Zeb on the microphone. He says, England is nothing but a bunch of soccer thugs, imperialists, bad food, and evil monarchs, plus full of people who actually found the antics of Mr. Bean hilarious, which I agree with. I never understood Mr. Bean. No, oh, he was funny. He, I, I, I never up thought he was funny. Mr. Bean. It's physical comedy. That's I love physical comedy. Um, I just didn't get Mr. It's Bean. British humor. No, it's not British. It's British not, humor yeah, is like so you know. Mr. Bean is as American as humor gets. I know. All right. But I don't know. Them, them fighting words. They have a lot of. I have respect for really Mr. Bean. It. I just can never get into it personally. Yeah, but it's very yeah. different from. Yeah, it's not Monty Python. No. It's not yeah. Hugh Laurie and oh, no. Stephen Fry. It's not the Mitchell and Webb look. Nothing like that. It's what, just a dude who did What do the chicks always drink? Absolutely fabulous. fabulous. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> you even know that, man. What the hell is <laughs> that supposed to be? So, so I was right there with Zeb, and then he said, you know, the saying used to be the sun never sits on the British Empire, but today the sun never rises. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to put your right hand over your hearts and in a loud, clear voice say, we the, the people. people. The people. And he said, "Put your hand in the air and say it." Kathy. If you believe that America is a more superior nation, like he, he added all that in. I'm there like, there were oh. maybe maybe five people that did it in the entire audience. Oh no, no there were some. Huge. Yeah, it was big. Yeah. No. Oh, they all did it. Yeah, huh? all the men. I mean, I, I'd be damned if, you, if you're a guy and you're not going to say that along because every man in there is going to do it. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, let's it's do it. Fun. These, these are men out there. Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro. <laughs> There's a men. There's a men. Let's do that. We the people with them men's. <laughs> and then Cesaro. That's like a homecoming for him in Europe. Like they love him. Close over there. enough. In sure. Europe, England's like not Europe. Just I mean, he's life. in. He's on the <laughs> continent. <laughs> they, you saw them. They I've were all seen points, but I'm saying though, like <laughs> England <laughs> is next to Europe, but it doesn't mean like it, that's like someone from England saying like, oh, you're going to America. I've always wanted to go to Mexico. Like that's not okay. That's a bad example. <laughs> Because they're the same. <laughs> but you see my point. <laughs> the chat world did want swaggering earlier. Oh, so. do we have to do this? Okay. Uh, old time sake. Da 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 you didn't even you didn't even swagger. How are you dizzy? Why? Well, just seeing it. Maybe just, it's your maybe just it's all this excitement. It's got <laughs> me really worked up. Yeah. <laughs> this match. This match is oh, fantastic. Man. Yes. Alberto Del Rio comes out to watch at ringside. You know, Cena looking good in the ring. Pulls out that new neck breaker, whatever you want to call that. Cesaro gets two crazy uppercuts on Cena. Woo! Oh boy. 
Yeah. Bam. I mean, it's cool when he European does it to like uppercuts. Santino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> European flavor. Yeah, sure was. Not a, the, the, they're England uppercuts, not European. <laughs> For tonight. But damn, oh the second uppercut especially. Oh, good, good Lord Almighty. I mean, Cena oh, yeah, flew. They, they did that one in slow mo for us. That was that was a good. One. Cena flew, and it, it, you know, it's great when he does it to the small guy. But when, does the Cena? Come on, man! I don't they, see how you take a European uppercut without it hurting. Like I don't. It, well, it, he gets you right kind of in the sternum where and he's got a lot of meat. You know, yeah, I guess, but not as much water weight as Cena. Cena's Cena, they, they're two. They're probably both equally strong, but like Cena just looks so much bigger than him, and it's he like, is man, how is? Blue How does Cesaro baby. have all that strength? Cesaro is just, he, he's a natural strong man. Yeah. Whereas is, what, Cena is. Pound for pound, the hell, strongest man sure. in the WWE. For sure. He is. And that's a lot of genetics, but, the, but you can tell Cesaro is a is, is a all naturally strong man. Cena. I, I'm, what are you trying to say? Dude, I'm just saying. What are you trying to say? Look, as a physical therapist, mm -hmm. he's got gorilla hands and gorilla head. I don't know. That's genetics, man. That's straight up genetics. I would say genetics. they're both stronger than Charmin Ultra. That's bring thick. That's bring that thickness. They brought that thickness. Oh, Cena brought the thickness. They did. Swole. That's right. He swole. <laughs> so, anyways. But there was swole? no. There was his a, elbow. Um, his elbow. Wait, weren't you saying that injury also related to maybe possibly having the gorilla hands and the gorilla head? Or what the the tricep? The yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, okay. When you do take supplements, let's just call them supplements. You are more prone to injuries like quad tears, mm. sometimes a tricep tear, like major muscle tears is what you're more likely to have. I'm not saying that's that's certainly not the case. I don't think. Because cause I think his tricep tear was probably a gradual thing. It just got worse over time. I don't oh, okay. And how come? How come the performance enhancers uh, make make you more at risk for tears? Well, it's because your 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 muscles are getting bigger than what your body is is. The is rest of your body can't. Uh, ready to handle. Your ligaments and your tendons and your bones aren't getting bigger. Oh so yeah, Your Absolutely. muscles are like okay. Just kind of you're literally busting out. Interesting. Yep. So you are bringing that thickness. <laughs> can we, can we cap that off at some point? We, no! <laughs> this is Manchester tonight, guys. We're going all out. We're uh, playing for keeps. Right. Interestingly enough, uh, Manchester started an Olay chant uh, a, of a El Generico flavor, uh -huh. which him and Cesaro have a long history. I'm wondering oh if boy. all those fans like knew that, or they were just doing a footballer's chant because well, they had a fellow European. Uh, well, as there. a matter of fact, NXT is actually on television in England. I saw it when I was over there. They have a, um, a network called, and our England viewers, if I get this wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, I think it's called Skynet. There's a, a cable. Skynet. I think so. There's a cable network called Skynet, and they actually air uh, NXT on television, and they also air like classic. Like the one night I was in my hotel and I saw a Bret Hart match from like in your house. Wow. So they air a lot of WWE on Skynet, and cool. uh, including NXT. Whereas we watch it on the internet. NXT is actually on television in England, That's so they cool. certainly know all about El Generico. That's good. Yeah, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, Cena hits the A at a swagger, then of course Cesaro saves the match, and that's when he gets the massive uppercut. Eventually Cena STF swagger for the win. Cesaro jumps in the ring and just starts headbutting Cena. Yeah. But of course Cena fights back, gets rid of both of them. ADR comes behind with the chair, locks Cena's arm and starts stomping on it. That's when Biggie Langston comes down to the rescue. Go get him some. He did. Didn't see that coming, but he, he came down. Yeah, he th he just threw out. He threw Del Rio out, right? And he just he didn't do any moves to him. He just no, grabbed I, him. He he picked him up so violently. That mm -hmm. man's strong too. Oh, oh, big he's big crazy. Oh, he's yeah. probably the strongest on the roster right now. Uh, those those pecs are ridiculous. He's a beast. <laughs> I've never seen. Man, I'm always worried when he takes the straps out. They're gonna blur it man. out. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a pay per view. That's a pay per view right there. <laughs> that sure is. He's got Sneak peek. He's got some hey. Charmin pecs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So yeah, they set up. Uh, they set up a Big E, right? Big I, E match with ADR. And I think people are really behind Big E, which is cool. I love it. You, the, you know, the and crowd, stuff the in crowd was chanting Big E at, at the, during this particular face. Segment. Face E is really good. That's a good E. I did. Uh, I love his. Uh, I mean, I love. The uh, the weightlifting uh -huh, uh -huh. chalk and then yep. his five. He hasn't done it in WWE yet. He's done it on NXT, but it's like, uh, have you ever seen him uh, do the the five gimmick? His his songs like you know three's not enough. I need five. So when he pins, he tells the ref to pin five times. Oh, nice. 
otherwise he can't win. Oh, counter so if the guy kicks out at four, he's like, no, 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 I gotta get this. So he needs five, and I would, I can't wait. So they're making him look really strong right now. Yeah. I want him to eventually start doing that. That'd be great. Faux show. I like it. I need I five. You give me five, five. It's so good. He's so intense. <laughs> it is. It gotta really do is. It. And of course, uh, eventually we're gonna see more of Biggie Langston as the show progresses. But moving on, Ryback versus R Truth. Now, what's cool about this is Ryback comes down, and this is pre Paul Heyman talking about him. Truth comes down, not just the regular Truth opening. He actually spits some hot fire on Ryback. Oh, Johnny! He writes him a rhyme. What, dude? <laughs> You're so white sometimes. It just really tickles. <laughs> Look, man, I'm living this hip hop life. You get on board or just don't. You spit you know that hot I mean? fire. He did. Uh, I loved it. A personalized <laughs> rap for him. I, I hope he does this every time. Now. It was so good. really good. I really enjoyed it. Was, it. And that's not easy to do live. That's it, a tough thing to do. It reminds me of when Sandow used to come down to the ring with his uh, individualized poems, I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He would yeah. do it to their theme music. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. No, I, I don't know. It just really added a little. He needed a spark. He's he's been That's missing good. something. That made and, and me this, like him a lot. It really, yeah, it really, just that simple thing reinvigorated just, him. That's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know he listens to the show quite a bit, so Ryback didn't look too happy about that. But, but no, he didn't. <laughs> uh, getting that fire spit on him. Ryback oh, yeah. wasn't happy for this whole exchange, really, because by the you know, I mean, outside, it got kind of a bit of a slow start, but Truth won on a roll up. A lot of, yeah, a couple, couple roll-up wins tonight, yeah. I did not yeah. see that coming. Yeah, that was another roll-up win, and I'm okay with that against Ryback, because it's still, because he got up really quick, like, whoa, like, son yeah, of a, like, you got, how'd you, dang it, because yeah. he slipped up. Yeah. Poor Ryback. But I do wonder, because I, I... Ryback did not have a good night overall. No. no. Loses the match, and then verbally gets lashed. And I, we had, I'd heard rumors of this, that he's, like, somehow fallen out of the good graces or whatever, but... Uh, I think he's done great work with what he's got. I, I, mean, I love his character. He, I mean, he was fed to Punk. He was fed to Cena yeah. over and over again. And it's just enhancing them to, you build up a guy only to feed them to your two top guys. I don't like it. Yeah. I, I, I don't like that. Like, you, you should, I mean, uh, the biggest thing that I had a problem with was the three stages. What was it? The three stages of Hell match against oh, Cena. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He should have, he, he should have, uh, you know. Um, sh shell shocked him through, and they both just fall through the uh, oh, ambulance. Through the roof of the have ambulance. that rigged up so when he shell shocks, they both. Oh, it's a tie. We don't know. Right. And right. that would have saved him for a long time. But then you still fed him to Punk when you yep. gave him to Heyman. Well, <sighs> like like you said, I mean the fact that he's only won <laughs> one pay per view ever. And yeah. in his whole time that he's I mean, that, that made it easy for me to keep retaining. I'm just like, oh, Ryback? Yeah, Who, yeah. Whoever's picking Ryback's insane. He'll never win. He'll never win. You sound like Seinfeld right now. I know. He's <laughs> never going to win. What's the deal with this? <laughs> Ryback? Ryback, Ryback in a pay-per-view? Good Lord. <laughs> Yeah, it's I don't know. I, uh, I hope it's just a, a well, storyline. Is there some great wait, things? What in between are you with this watching? Yeah. Are you watching some bearded guy someone, talk about you? Someone sent me a video, and so I couldn't I couldn't listen to it, but I wanted to see what, what it was. What is oh, this some guy talking to you in a private thing? Is private it a big room? show? Is it the big show? No, no it's a man a with a beard and glasses, that, and it says Kathy Kelly is a radio host. Uh, he, as the caption. he sends me songs sometimes. He's cool. Oh wow. Oh, okay. What's his name? John. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Sorry, uh, keep keep bringing those videos to Kathy. Sorry, I've been in chat <laughs> roll way too much tonight. There are like so many people in here right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's people you. in this room too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hopping on chat roll. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Kathy, I love you. <laughs> Best chat roller in the world. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Pop. Uh, that was a wedding singer reference. <laughs> <laughs> Um, guys, I need to leave in a few minutes, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Well, I, hey, I do, you know, we're almost a, done, actually. I do have a flight to catch. Uh, how, I mean, do we have to go? How long do you want to uh, keep going? I mean, going? let's finish. Let's finish the show. Okay, finish the show. Biggie Langston versus Alberto Del Rio. Makes him tap with the cross arm breaker. This was a really solid match. I thought Biggie might pull it out, but, of course, Mexico's greatest export is now one step closer to that world title in John Cena. I know you're in a hurry, but ADR is in that same area for me with Axel, where, mm -hmm. I mean, we I talked some. A little earlier, but it's strong just like, words, Dale. Strong <laughs> words. <laughs> what? Why can't they figure out something interesting to do with his character? Because they took away Ricardo from him. Oh yeah, where's they should have never done that. I want him to listen to this. True. I want him to do. And you know, him and Bret Hart had a heart to heart. Who? Uh, last year, remember? A heart to heart. And he was like, her? "Hey, I'm like the Bret Hart of of Mexico." Oh right. And he's like, "Funny, I thought you're like the." I'm like the whatever he says. Oh, the yes. Uh, yeah, we got uh, you. I, mean, I think he needs to start a Mexican foundation. But then I'm trying to think of who is on the roster that he could start using. Sin Cara. No, anybody but him. Like, do there's, we have anybody? There's that, Ray. Uh, 
There's nobody, and that's the problem. He, the Los Matadores. Uh, but they're Puerto Rican. They're Puerto Rican. Oh, I mean, uh, supposedly they're supposed to be Spanish now, right? Oh, what about that, what about the dude country? that was oh, coming? Or, hey, Africa, what about yeah. the guys that rode down on the on the on the bicycle? Oh, uh, um, Hunico and Hunico and his buddy Camacho. Camacho, yeah, that worked, yeah. Out. That worked out well. <laughs> I mean, are there any Mexicans down Unico in NXT? Is awesome though. He's, yeah. I mean, when when Unico was Sin Cara, that was yeah. the best Sin Cara we ever got. Yes, for so, sure. So and then, then they, they swapped him. I was like, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe do that. I would love to see him do that. And like, hey, we're. I mean, not not as bad as like the uh, Mexican World Order. What was it? Latino World Order. LWO. Yeah. LWO. Yeah. Like, yeah, sure. Like, do, do it right. Right. And I think with ADR, because he's actually really good. Well, what I like about ADR is, you know, a lot of times wrestling is so stereotypical. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, the guys on the bicycle or lie we cheat we steal. Oh, but the, the what was the Mexicools? The Mexicools. Well, that Alberto Del Rio. LAX. It's 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 a totally different spin. It's it's a Mexican aristocrat. The guy's wealthy beyond belief. He's yeah. a step above everyone. So I, I I like his character. I just feel like his character is so sophisticated. I don't know. I just uh, well, maybe. but they used to focus on that. I mean, he used to have the nice cars. He would have those longer you know promos that he would cut about yeah. being so rich. But all of that is gone. Uh, all of that is gone. He's so no longer he's a JBL. Just, it's a good he's point. just a guy, you know, down the middle. I'm the sole representative of Mexico. Yeah. That's a very good point. I don't know. Yeah, he needs some muscle with him. He needs he needs some guys. He needs a, he needs a, he's a leader. I agree. He's a leader. And he needs to be leading. <sighs> that would be really cool. Yeah. You know, Mexican World Order. They just take. I mean, look at all like the towns you know that in the south and stuff. You know, we go to California. We, we get huge pops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. And I, it could just be other guys that were also upper class. Yeah, yeah, you could do like it him. by yeah. They could just be like a classist group rather than that way. You could keep some heat, you know. Yeah, I don't think. And you look down on not just Americans. You look down on other Mexicans, something like that. And yeah, anyone who's not in your uh, income bracket, which yeah. no one is in his technically. Yeah. So yeah. that'd be pretty cool. All right, something. I'll write a letter. Let's yeah. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul Heyman is next. Uh, we see him. We come back from commercial. He's in the middle of the ring. In a wheelchair, a neck brace, a leg stabilizing brace, a back brace, a crutch in one hand, a sling in the other, and of course in the ring with him is his caregiver, Curtis Axel. He verbally <laughs> destroys Ryback, and then verbally destroys the WWE Universe by saying, I, Paul Heyman, shall return with a vengeance, and I will hover over CM Punk like a sword of Damocles, and he will drive the blade of, oh, cult of personality. What? <laughs> the static hits. Talk about total swerve with the Ryback thing. I knew, like, I felt like they were going to, we knew weird. that they were going to break up, but... Yeah. I didn't think that it would be this soon. And not like that. And it was it was just completely unexpected where he just didn't show up. We thought that maybe We thought just, he was tired yeah. from doing the match right before, but it was like, oh, very strange. And I don't think you could uh Oh. I don't think Curtis could uh, I don't think he could survive a breakup with Heyman yet. No. But Ryback could. And they were like, we gotta split him up. I would love to see Axel and Heyman break up because I think that's what Axel needs. He needs to go with Punk or something. Well, here's he what bothers to, me: is like just a someone who's a talker too. I agree. Just like a month or six weeks ago, you had Paul Heyman kissing Ryback on the cheek. I know. That's why I think Come something on, infatuation. Something is sound yeah. in this whole situation. I, I don't think this was no. the original plan. I think it something wasn't. They, clearly I think not. they decided that it wasn't working yeah. with the storyline that they wanted to go with, so they put the kibosh on it. But, but with all that build up, it's like he broke up with his girlfriend over the phone. Yeah. I mean, it was like such a cheap, like, Tough well, method. you know, I don't but care about him anymore. Ryback's so. going to, you can't. I hope. Ryback's got to respond to that next week. You can't just. A dude like Ryback, who who's a bully, he's, he can't just listen to that and just brush it off. Unless they're burying him. He got rolled up by R-Truth and dumped on the same night. <laughs> That's true. I got your t-shirt, man. I, I and then, and Josh got you a got shirt a, for five bucks. A that's a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? He saw, yeah, he saw five dollar shirt. So that's a oh, oh, roll up, a dump, and a five dollar. So yeah, and a and ship it to me. And, yeah. and an eighty-seven percent discount. They didn't even send you the whole shirt. I know they took the sleeves off. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope you're right, Johnny. I really hope that that is we're gonna get a rebuttal. It turns into a thing. But the way it felt tonight, I, 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 I agree with you. I think you might be right. I don't, I don't know. know. But Punk gets his hands on Heyman once again, which I didn't think that would happen. I was mm -hmm. waiting for the Wyatt family to come out. Yeah, he comes down. He just beats the crap out of Axel. Puts Axel to sleep outside the ring. Heyman is alone in the wheelchair. Punk spins him around, which was hilarious. <laughs> dumps the luggage and then just canes the holy hell out of him. 
Even Woo. with a back brace, you got to feel that. <laughs> that was pretty Wait, great. What picture was that, Kathy? Please tell me that, that was Clum. Nothing. Please tell me that was Clum. <laughs> He's beating the. Please tell me that was. It was. Oh, I think I know who sent that. All right, forget it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Nothing. We're just having fun. Uh, so yeah, he just canes <laughs> Heyman, just canes Heyman, and he rolls out of the ring. And then Brian comes in and starts a match. And then a match starts. <laughs> just it's so weird. Like, but but I mean, he does say he's going to return with a vengeance, yeah. like a sort of Damocles. But he he went he just went out like a like a punk man. Uh, yeah, yeah, he punked out. I yeah. Mean, yeah, I thought he was taking maybe some time off right now, but he, to show up in London and then maybe we're not going to see him for a couple more weeks. I after think that. it's going to be a little while now. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe. And for an injured man, why would you fly overseas just to? Well, he was trying alternate routes. He was already in Europe, Josh. Alternate, oh, he was alternate yeah. healing methods last yeah. week. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. That's with, right. Uh, with Doctor um, Clearly, Alizis. they didn't work. Well, uh, now he's going to have to go back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More injuries yeah. after yeah. that guy. The, 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 whoever he was, uh, Dr. Alaziz's uh, like NASCAR thing, right? or whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah. Nailed week. it. That's, yeah, exactly that's what it was. <laughs> yep. Your accent was perfect. That's exactly Perfection. what it was. <laughs> so, yeah, we lead into the main event, uh, which is going to be Daniel Bryan and CM Punk versus The Shield. This match went from good to better to awesome to fantastic to incredible. By the end of it. Woo. Talk about not seeing something coming. Yep. My God. My uh, God. And I love it. I, I love it. The, you know, first of all, the match was great, right? Yeah, I mean, these yeah. guys never disappoint. No. All of them are so good. Uh, I, I especially liked the, the Roman Reigns double clothesline on Punk and, oh, uh -huh. and Brian. That was awesome. I love big man moves, you know. And Brian was on fire, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. I love big man moves. I love the big guys. <laughs> I'm a McMahon so dude, many. you know. I like the big man. It's all right. Uh, but yeah, man, and, and what I've always loved about S.H.I.E.L.D. was that they were bad guys who usually, on the big moments, they've run away a couple times. Mm -hmm. They run away, they don't run away, but they decide to pull out. They gather sure. themselves. So, like, okay, this ain't happening. Yeah, right. they're Which smart. Which is smart, that's smart. But they're not chicken. They don't run, they don't hightail it and run it like Randy Orton did last week. Mm -hmm. They always, like, when the locker room cleared out a couple months ago, the Shield stayed in while Randy Orton ran out. Yep. And they stayed and fought the whole locker room. Yep. And I'm like, these guys are a beast. Yep. I love them. I love it. And now they're even more tweeny tonight? Oh, and well, what tonight, happens? the match was amazing. Punk hits the GTS. And all, just when you think something's about, it, it's over. You think the match is over, Raw is over. We're here. Why family in the ring? Went crazy. Which I thought they were going to come out. I definitely thought there was I a agree. build up of that, but only between Punk and Brian. Yeah. I did not. What are they going to do with the Shield? Yeah. Any of this Shield action Ooh. coming into play? Ooh. That was the bomb. I mean, just just that like two minute window mm -hmm. was worth the entire show watching. <laughs> yeah. Like. Well, yeah, because the Wyatt family's in the ring. Ooh. You think they're all just going to gang up on Daniel Bryan and Punk? Right. But no. I oh, mean, these these hounds of justice are hot, man. They've, yep. they've upset. Uh -huh. They just had. They, they, they were almost gonna beat him. Yeah. They, and then they come out. Um, I love it because like Seth was all up in Luke Harper and Eric Rowan's grill, uh -huh. and Dean Ambrose holding his arm because he was he, he had the uh, cobra. Uh, what is it called? Oh, the, uh, the uh, uh, anaconda vice. Anaconda sorry, vice. anaconda vice yeah. on him, and uh, he comes over like, whoa, 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 Seth, calm down. Wait a minute. And then he gets in there, yeah. and Seth is like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. <laughs> and then they just. All hell breaks then loose. Then they go at it, and then Roman Reigns starts arguing with Bray Wyatt outside. Uh, they go at it. They all get in the ring. Finally, Bray's like, hold on, we have a common enemy. And then the six of them turn. start beating up Daniel Bryan and CM Punk, but then the Usos come down. Then Cody and Goldust come down. We have six on six. They clear the ring out. And now are we setting up for a huge, possibly the biggest number Survivor Series elimination match ever? Hot be awesome. dog. Be I hope so. But you know how be. awesome this is? Six on six. Yeah. How do you fit all? That's We're going to need a bigger ring. Even <laughs> bring it in. Someone tweeted me earlier that they did not like Raw, that they thought Raw was boring tonight. Really? Well, uh, like I said, we, we got a lot of roll ups. But the thing but the was, like, it started itself. and ended, ended, ended it, amazingly. The ending of it was. Amazing. Top notch. Yeah, Top yeah there, there was some and trash in the middle. Obviously, loved it as well. And for any dull moments during the three hours and eight minutes, just look at the audience. They pulled it off. Yeah, <laughs> doing the wave. Did the wave. Uh, doing that. Did the. That has to be weird to have the wave happen while you're like in the middle of a hold. <laughs> you're like, okay, obviously we need to change what we're doing. Yeah. We're really boring tonight, so. Let's but step it up. what I love about it is not only is this was this amazing in in what was happening here. If this does turn into a six on six for yeah. Survivor Series, we're gonna have a feud pop out of this that Shield, you know, Wyatt's for sure. I mean, they're not gonna get along very well in, in that yeah. instance, and then maybe we can get 
a three on three. Well, we were wondering how is this going to lead in the Survivor Series? You know, because you have three Wyatts, you have Daniel Bryan and, and Punk. This is not enough people. Ah, now it's all making uh-huh. sense. Now, of course, uh, the tag titles probably won't be on the line. No. But six on six. Typical. That's okay. I mean, we've already got two title matches, and and that, that, that six on six. Yeah, that's going to be electric. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, man. Hopefully, they'll really announce well. them all before the day of. <laughs> that yeah, would be exactly. Really great. What if you had a reason to get the pay per view before the pay per view started? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then they're blaming. I saw a report. Okay. Oh, 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 oh Daniel Bryan. Bryan. A report oh, on the Daniel Bryan yeah. issue. They're like, oh, the reason why we threw him back down to the mid card, right, is because we don't feel the big guy, he's not big enough, and we need big guys like the big show and Randy Orton. Y'all are stupid. Are you, are you out of Who your said mind? that? Who said that? That's what the, the reports It's just, uh, that's reports. It's say. out there. It's out there. And I'm saying it's not because Cena was gone and you had 18 pay-per-views in the course of six weeks. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. And on. it's all the same match? I still All have, of them was uh, Orton versus Bryan. I Orton. still have a firm belief that Daniel Bryan will get his moment at WrestleMania 30. I think he will get his moment, but he there's no one who commands a crowd like him right now. Nope. No. He, and did Punk. Did you notice? I mean, yeah, Punk yeah. as well, but... Him, Punk, and Cena. At the end That's of the night, him just throwing up the yes chant, like I just think everyone, that entire arena, right. fifteen thousand people, they were all doing it. I understand why they're doing it because WrestleMania is still five months away. Yeah. It's going to be really hard to make Daniel Bryan keep chasing and chasing and chasing for you five months. Pull back, start it. Over I again. really yeah. believe that he's going to get his moment at WrestleMania thirty. I can only hope. It's going to be almost like. Ten years ago at WrestleMania 20, when a certain unnamed wrestler who we can no longer name because of what happened in his life and his family's life finally got his moment and everyone went crazy when he made Triple H tap out. It's almost going to be... Dale, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking right. about. I'm just so it's to almost going to be like, because everyone was waiting for him to get his moment. It's going to be like, for Daniel Bryan, it's like, finally get his WrestleMania moment, you know, other than getting kicked in the face after 12 seconds. By right. Shoot, you know what I mean? But I just wonder, because had... had that other instance. Had he won the title even for a little bit before then? Cause no, I, he won the Royal Rumble because I was in, it was actually in right, Philly. Right. I, I was there that night. That's right, um, I forgot. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, We will. That is it. What an amazing Raw from Manchester, England, guys. Thank you for watching. All our England viewers and listeners, we love you. And of course, our American friends, we love you too. Kathy Kelly, put yourself over. You can find me on Twitter at Catherine Kelly. That's right. Dale. I am the walking Dale on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter. Yes, Boom. Indeed. Showtime champion. I'm Showtime Josh on Twitter. And a shout out to Yes d and Blue Daz, my Scottish shield brother. That's right. I- <laughs> I love it. I'm at Jay Quasso. If you're in New York on Tuesday night, I'll be at Gotham Comedy Club. If you're a student at Sacred Heart University randomly, I'll be there Wednesday night. So come out and see me or just high five me through Twitter. That's all we got for this week, guys. As always, go to After Buzz on Twitter and feel free to talk to us. We want interaction, people. Tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your wives, tell your neighbors, tell your siblings about the show because we have Hide a great your kids. Time every week. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.